Now that's a great gift idea. We've been really, really good this year. Just ask our kids. I'm Roger Mudd. Welcome back to the History Channel's presentation of Robots. The business of robotics recently passed a milestone when 1997 industry revenues were more than a billion dollars for the first time. Robots are commonly used for all types of jobs. In California, one service station is experimenting with a robot that opens the gas cap and then fills the tank. Another robot was designed to find and dispose of unexploded landmines, definitely not a job for humans. Meanwhile, researchers around the world continue working on the next generation of robots. We continue with robots. Tobor, the most amazing, the most fantastic creation of man's mind. Oh, he looks alive. Throughout the 1950s, 60s, and 70s, popular culture tenaciously held on to the vision of the intelligent robot. But fantasy still far outstripped reality. Mechanical men built during this period, like Swiss engineer Peter Stoyer's robot, were little more than sophisticated automatons, close cousins of Electro and Sparco from earlier decades. However, researchers were pursuing the dream of a human-like robot one arm at a time. In the 1950s, highly dexterous mechanical arms had been developed for handling radioactive